these are in gloves. <clears throat> I think you're supposed to put those on first. Yeah, well, it's too late. If I had the gloves on, I couldn't manage all these zippers. Not true. Sure. Fortunately, the bees don't look very angry this morning. They you think they would they be sound after pretty, hauling them in the back of the truck. They sound pretty docile. So I said to the guy there, as he was loading them and it was covered in bees, and I said, look at those little beauties. And he says, yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> I said, by this many bees, you've probably gotten pretty sick of them. He says, we're just starting, and I'm sick of them. <laughs> he was the guy loading the truck. Where do you want them? Let's see, well, put them in the back of the truck. You sure you don't want them in the back seat? They're nope. surrounding the queen, aren't they? Yeah, they're trying to keep her warm. Because it's cold out. Chile. And they know that. So, should we see how big a mess I can make here? Sure. Oh, there. Hey, look at that. <coughs> hey, they're just right there. That's cool. Okay. You little Sasquatches will go there. Saskatraz or something like that is what Saskatraz. Saskatraz. So we need to lift out their food. Ah, they're getting me. That's a lot of food. Hi guys. Yeah, hey, I have a pocket. Did you smoke them yet? Don't smoke new ones. Okay, they're mad. A little bit. Yeah, they're probably a bit unhappy. I don't know why. Maybe bouncing in a truck. <laughs> probably glad I put the suit on. They're not on you yet. Well, there's a couple. All right. So there's our queenie. Somewhere in there. Hanging around. In there. Ah, yes, there we go. Okay, so we need to take the little cork out. Wow, I can just feel heat coming off of these. I mean, it's chilly out this morning. And, and they're, they're warm. warming you up. <laughs> hey, look at that one. Come on, I'm trying not to squish you guys. Hmm? Trying to get that cork out of there. Should have brought a needle nose down. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, queen. So you're supposed to take it out a little holder? Uh, there's supposed to be food in there and a blockage. That is not good. Because we do not want to lose our queen. I bet that blockage was actually the food. That is not good. Okay, your queen is in there, girls, boys. Things, okay, we're gonna bees. We're going to over there. <laughs> we put tool there. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Just a pile of bees. <laughs> <laughs> You're a little close to my nose, you fart. There's a lot still in there. They'll find their way out. <laughs> Probably should have brought... Come on, there's still a bunch of you in there. We're going to put you right there. And the rest of them will figure it out. Go in. Bees. <laughs> Just dump them out in a pile. <laughs> then look at that. <laughs> Dad, you got a couple bees on you. Yeah, I bet I got a few. Just a couple. I got like three on me. On my head. So there's so at least 30,000 there. Or I did. So now that we just kind of let it simmer. Let them go down into the hive. Well, we can hope. I should have brought my little brush and I could rake them down in a little bit. Just 
dumping food on them. Should here uh, have I food. I don't want them getting too wet with it. Might have gotten a couple under the back edge. Yeah, there are. <laughs> Open it. The majority <laughs> game. All right. So then we already put a little pollen pack in there. Get you guys some food. So you have something to eat. For any good reason we zipped up this thing all the way. Yeah, they're not that happy, are they? I forgot you're supposed to turn that over first. And that's just sugar water, 50-50. <laughs> hmm. All right, so there's one in. Careful. Careful of what? Bee that's outside or on the lip yeah. there. They're gonna do that. Oh, just listen to that box hum. Here, let me bring a phone in there if you don't want to. I'll bring the bees with me. Mm -hmm. It's just roaring. Well, we kind of upset them. They've been stuck in a semi-truck. All right. So the rest of you are stuck outside, unless you want to chew your way in. So right now, they're supposed to swirl. And to find their way in? Well, so hopefully they can still smell the pheromone of the queen. I they got can. one hanging out of my neck right now. I now, saw that. The biggest goal is, is we didn't lose the queen. Yeah, I hope not. Yeah, they're supposed to chew their way out, and it's supposed to take a few days. So they know they're trying to get placed. warm. Yeah, look at the ones that on the be box why this there. Is hanging out of my neck. Look at the yeah, ones on, on the box neck? there. Yep. All right, you ready to do another? This time, just don't take the cork out for the queen. Just put the queen box in. How are they going to get out? Um, isn't they that like the cork? Isn't the cork made out of their food or no? No, no there's supposed to be a candy plug in there. Hmm. Look at them all trying to get back in. Of course. What? Yeah, you, you got a little friend on your on your head. Yeah. Just don't swat at them. Nope. That makes them angry. All right, we ready to do another? Think of the people that buy dozens of these. There we go. Wow, that food is empty. Huh, so they went through it. Yep. All right, so let's see if we can get a little queen out of here. There is no queen candy at all. So here's our queen. And either they do something different that I'm not aware of, but that cork. You might want to bring them back over there. Are they following? They're going to start. Uh huh. All right, we're going to move this over here. Uh We'll just throw you. <laughs> Get off. <laughs> You're not allowed on there anymore. No rides. Did you hear the one just tap the steel? <laughs> Donk. <laughs> it did. All right. So Queen is in. And she, we just want to make sure she doesn't fly away. So Yeah, just a <laughs> pile of bees. <laughs> I just thought of something. What if you put that divider on first next time? Divider? So, like, you put on the other hive, and then you pour the pile of bees in? Oh, no. I mean, there's 
10,000 of them already down in the side trying to find that queen and protect her. That doesn't make them mad. I had a couple land on me. Just blew on them and they flew away. <laughs> Crawling on my hand. I see that. All right. I guess you guys... So, the biggest thing they say to look for is how many dead on the bottom. I saw virtually none. I mean, maybe a couple dozen. That's and pretty good, actually. It's probably because you were picking them up, like, first day they got here. Can you stop eating my hand? Is he munching? All right, let's get. Oh, he's just scratching his face. Come on, find your way down. <laughs> hey, buddy, your hive's over there. And right now, it's floating on bees. Mm hmm. Oh, hey, Porter, I have one on top of my head. Oh, yeah. You got a little friend. Friend. I got a friend on my phone. <laughs> He's just hanging around. All right. Yeah, little guy. Oh, there he goes. Awful lot of bees flying around. Yeah, gee, I wonder why. I don't know. Uh-oh. What? Is that poop? Porter, I got one in my hair now. Yell. Again. Mm-hmm. There. Le bee. Bees. Bees. So I highly recommend all you go in. You just squished one. Two. Oh, well. <laughs> Listen to that roar. Oh, you put the handhole ones in on the top. Uh, it wasn't. It was, yes, I had to. Uh, because I just needed an empty one for the feeders. Ah. So uh, I had to dig through my stack of uh, a hive to uh, try to find one tall enough to accommodate full-size quart jars. So we got a half a gallon of feed in here. And then I've got, uh, I bought, I didn't know they had them there, but some pollen patties. Give them something to uh, get started with. I don't know if that's the right thing to do or not. I didn't go to school for this. I just watched a video last night. <laughs> and however many before? Ah, I bought 10,000 videos. Where did the, this my cover? We should be good now. You can go in there. All right, so now, if these want in, they're gonna have to chew a hole through all that grass. And if the other ones want out, they're gonna have to chew a hole through all that grass. Hey, They're one got have to out. Chew a hole through that grass. One just climbed right out the grass. Yeah. So the idea behind the grass is, is they could get through, but they're gonna have to work for it. They have to work for it, and it slows the population down. So this queen is not part of this hive. They just take queens that they've grown, and then. Uh, Basically what they do is they go shake a hive out of a bunch of bees and they put them in these cases here and then stick a queen in there. So they don't know that queen from Boo, it's a stranger. And Until they get shipped with it for a while. They get shipped with it with some food and then uh, um, the idea is, is now they're stuck in there for a day or two and they have to learn and say, hey, this is our home. But if there's something about this house they don't like, they're all gonna leave, every single one of them. So we run a risk that we could lose every bee we just put in here. I got a piece of thread tickling my nose in here. See that? So there is a lot of bees still left in this one here. All congregating. I'm hoping that they can sniff their way out. Maybe I should put them near the entrance. Look at them all on the warm side of the hive there. My hope is, is they get used to me. That'd be nice. There. 
So, you were talking about smoke. Um, the reason you don't use smoke on a new hive, smoke, what that does is um, tells the bees that there's a forest fire mm. and it's time to pack up and leave. So that's when they eat all their food reserves and fly away. So the but smoke... This isn't a, there's no reserves here. So when you smoke a hive, all those bees automatically go in and start consuming and they forget about the threat around them and they're just consuming and getting ready to go. That's why when you use smoke, you don't want to spend a lot of time in the, in the hive because they're thinking the forest is on fire and it's time to go. And that's what you don't want. And so the goal is, oh, I got to learn the new habit, never lay your tool down. Keep your tool in your pocket. The top of your head has a whole bunch of bees on them. So I was actually worried about the soap that I wash with. Because for my skin, I use this all-natural herbal soap. That's all I need is them saying, hoo-hoo, pollen guy. <laughs> uh, all right, uh, you can probably stop recording.